Hello, 92 Green Z34. We got Lloyd's Farm with us yet again. We're reviewing on two channels again. And um, what's going on is we're reviewing with Logan's Farm. Me, we're going to review a beer I got that's usually expensive and I got on sale for $7 for a 12 pack. And that is Shiner Oktoberfest. I was going to buy this at full price, but then it ended up selling for cheaper. And uh, this is nothing, nothing finer than a Shiner. And it says uh, established 1909, Spotsil Brewery, Shiner, Texas. This is that up top, very fine print. Yeah, again, I'm using my crappy camera. I hope that the uh, sinking is good. We got, we're going to continue with our sh uh, chip reviews, but we want to get more drunk than this. Um, Shiner, uh, mar margin style, margin style, uh, uh, 12 ounce ale, um, a deliciously festive seasonal ale, um, sir, crafted with pride at the Spotsil Brewery, Shiner, Texas, 77984. Raise a stein to Oktoberfest. Here in China, Texas, population 2070. We're suckers for tradition, which is why this classic Oktoberfest brew is made with the highest quality two row barley, Munich, and caramel malts, along with German grown Hollertau tradition in Hers Brucker hops. It's our way of honoring our ancestors and the beer they loved to celebrate with. Uh, so raise your stein to tradition and enjoy this utterly classic brew, Prosit. That's what it says in the back. Prosit's the white letters on the bottom. Anyway, um, government warnings, so fine it's a, er, so fine in a stein. Unfortunately, we don't have any steins. Um, here's the cap. Uh, it's twist off, so this is kind of a little, just kind of a pop, nothing too crazy. And uh, we're going to actually smell it first. That was kind of citrusy. Though. Almost a slight citrusness. I get, I get caramel. Um, let's, let's pour. It's a very light color. It's a it's a probably very dark compared to most beers, but it is a light amber, a orangish color, a uh, slight brownness to it, but not very much. It's very very light, very. In lack of better terms, it does look like piss. It does look like dehydrated piss. Lack of a better word for it, that's why I said that. Yeah. Um, I do get a slight citrus to I'm, it. I'm getting really good citrus out of this. Really I, good citrus I hope it doesn't taste like it smells. We'll that'd, see. That'd I, be a bummer. I've always hated citrus beer. Um, I've always liked Shiner brew, so most Shiners have always been good to me. Let's see. <clears throat> Cheers. Yep. Citrus. Citrus. Yep. Mm. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Right away. Mm. Bittery citrus flavor. Mm. I have to say it's probably, to give it defense, it probably is one of the better citrus beers I've ever had because I hate citrus beer. So you wasn't Certified Evil a citrus beer? Certified Evil was the worst. It's a dark That's the citrus. worst dark citrus. Yeah, it's dark bad. citrus beer. It's like it's like Guinness mixed with citrus. Just Ooh. bad. Like an orange rind and dark beer. Exactly. Like orange rind and coffee grounds. This one here is Ooh. better than that. But but it's still citrus. And I'm not a fan of citrus. We'll see if we can get it down. That'll oh, be our challenge we'll, for the we'll video. We'll finish it, but that'll be the challenge for the video. See if we can drink this in the next five minutes. I got an hour or more on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta try to drink this when when my video's up. Uh, I I really I feel bad because a lot of people like citrus beer, and if you do, I'm sorry. All my citrus reviews are terrible because I just like ah, it sucks. Well, some people honestly probably do like citrus beer, so there's probably plenty of good tasting citrus beers. All my reviews are gonna be bad. 
but in fairness, if you're going to try a citrus beer, that is... Go with an open mind. That, that you, that you want to try that if you're kind of like me, but you kind of like citrus beer, that there, you think you might, this would be good. This would be the, probably one of the better entries. Like, if you go it's with... A, it's a mild citrus, but it's still a citrus. Like, some people really claim Blue Moon, you know, or, or something like that. That's a citrus beer. That's terrible. A lot of people say that's a good starter beer. If you hate citrus beer like me... That'd be a terrible starter beer. This That's one, with this. This here is better than that. So if you want to get into it and you kind of have the same mind as me and you don't know what you're going to like, this here is a pretty neutral citrus beer. It's still citrusy, but we're going to see what we can do. We only have a few minutes left, but we're going to try to drink it. <sighs> I'm in no hurry with this. Oh, goodbye. <clears throat> Burn it. Kill it. Kill the fire. All right. Well, in this defense, if you've, um, we both finished it. I'm sure you've seen that. If you kind of like a, um, a rustic, kind of like a, and some people, some people kind of like a hard water taste, like a lemony, like hard waterness. Have you ever been to a place that's got kind of a flavorful water and they put a lemon wedge in it and it's kind of a like that? This here, it, it's way worse than that, but it's it's like that. If you want to try... Bite the rind of a lemon or an orange? Yeah, if you want to bite a rind of a lemon or an orange and then put it in beer, this one here is a, a oh. car- what's, what's Okay, let's, let's talk about the cons or the pros quick. The cons are definitely that it's a... Uh, that citrusiness to it, but the pros uh, of it uh, are that it's very smooth. It's a mild. It's a mild citrus compared to most. It's mild citrus compared to most. It's a good texture. It goes down well, and uh, you know that. Uh, oh, damn, that's a burp. It's got some good carbonation to it. It's got. It does have good carbonation, and that uh, you know, compared to a lot of beers of its style. This one was pretty good. It's pretty drinkable. Again, I'm going to say I would never buy it again. But will I finish the case? Probably very slowly, but I will. Um, I got nothing a whole lot more for it. You got anything, Logan? We're going to have to make George drink one. We're probably going to have to make my buddy George drink one. He's not here. Probably won't get that on camera. Anyway. I might. Uh, he might. But anyways, guys, have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Have a good day.